ਸ਼ੁਕਰਾਨਾ ਅਸ਼ਕ ਮੰਡਲੀ ਅਸਲਾਮ ਅਲੈਕਮ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਆਵਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਸ ਐਂਡ ਬਿਯੋਂਡ ਅੱਜ ਕੇ ਅਮਰਾ ਐਕਟਾ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਕੋਚੀ ਯੂਜੁਅਲੀ ਅਮਰਾ ਮੰਗਲਵਾਰ ਆਸੀ ਐਵੰ ਮੰਗਲਵਾਰ ਆਮਦੇ ਕਾਬਰ ਪਾਬਨ ਕਿੰਤੂ ਅੱਜ ਕੇ ਅਮਰਾ ਕਰਤੇ ਸੀ ਐਕਟਾ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਆਮਦੇ ਵਿਸ਼ਿਸ਼ਟ ਸ਼੍ਰੋਧਿਓ ਬੜੇ ਭਾਈ ਮੁਹੰਮਦ ਹਕ ਭਾਈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕੇ ਨੀਏ ਐਵੰ ਉਨੀ ਆਪਨੇ ਦੇ ਮਾਜੇ ਸੁਪਰਿਚਿਤ ਆਪਰਾ ਜਾਣਨ ਜੋ ਉਨੀ ਵਿਭਿੰਨ ਆਂਦੋਲਨੇ ਉਨੀ ਆਮਦੇ ਕੇ ਏਗੇ ਨੀਏ ਗਸਨ ਐਵੰ ਉਨੀ ਜੋਇਓ ਹੋਇਚਨ ਵਿਭਿੰਨ আন্দোলনে এবং লেটেস্ট আন্দোলন উনি যেটা করেছিলেন সেটা হচ্ছে ক্রস রেল এর এগেইনস্টে খুদিলার সেটা তো উনি অগ্র ভূমিকা রেখেছেন এবং সেখানে উনি জয়ী হয়েছেন আমাদের কমিউনিটি কে নিয়ে ওনাকে আমরা আরেকটা পরিচয়ের মাধ্যমে জানি সেটা হচ্ছে যে হি ইজ অলসো বি নোন অ্যাজ ডিফেন্ডার অফ দ্য কমিউনিটি উনি সব সময় কমিউনিটির পক্ষে এবং কমিউনিটির জন্য উনি বিভিন্ন আলাপ আলোচনা করে থাকেন এবং ওনাদের জন্য ফাইট করে থাকেন আমাদের অন আর বিহাফ উনি ফাইট করে থাকেন আমি আর বেশি দেরি না করে আমরা আজকে যেহেতু আমাদের এটা স্পেশাল প্রোগ্রাম আমাদের গতানুগতিক স্কুইজ আমাদের হবে না এবং আমাদের এই স্পেশাল প্রোগ্রামটা শুধুমাত্র দুইটা সেগমেন্টেই হবে এবং প্রথম সেগমেন্টে আমাদের যথারীতি पॉलिटिकल অপিনিয়ন সেটা থাকবে এবং সেকেন্ড অপিনিয়ন আমরা আলাপ করব যে চেঞ্জ অফ पॉलिटिकल ডাইরেকশন ইন থার হান্ড্রেডস অল টুগেদার আমি আর বেশি দেরি না করে আমাদের শ্রদ্ধেয় ভাই হক ভাইকে আপনার সাথে পরিচয় করে দিচ্ছি হক ভাই আসসালামু আলাইকুম আলাইকুম আসসালাম थैंक यू আমাদের প্রোগ্রাম আসার জন্য আপনার সময় ব্যস্ত সময় থেকে সময় নিয়ে আমাদের সাথে কথা বলার জন্য थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम আপনি আমরা প্রথম যে আমাদের সেগমেন্ট সেটা হচ্ছে যে একটা पॉलिटिकल ओपिनियन সেই पॉलिटिकल ओपिनियनে আপনি বিগত যে আমাদের এই গত বৃহস্পতিবারে যে আপনি আমাদের ইলেকশনটা হয়ে গেল তিনটা ইলেকশন ছিল ইউরোপিয়ান ইলেকশন দ্য মেয়র ইলেকশন আর লোকাল কাউন্সিল ইলেকশন তো আমরা তো যেহেতু টারহামডসে থাকি সেজন্য আমরা মোটামুটি আমরা টারহামডসের পলিটিক্স নিয়ে আমরা একটু উদ্বিগ্ন থাকি আপনি অ্যাজ এ রেসিডেন্ট এবং অ্যাজ এ কমিউনিটি পারসন এবং সিনিয়র ভাই হিসেবে হোয়াট ইউ থিঙ্ক अबाउट দিস দিস ইলেকশন আপনার কাছে আপনার মতামতটা জানতে চাইছি যে হোয়াট হোয়াট ডু ইউ থিঙ্ক ওভারঅল কি রকম গেল ইলেকশনটা আমার ডেসক্রিপশন যেটা দিছ এই ডেসক্রিপশনটা একটু আমি কোয়ালিফাই করা লাগব কারণ জি জি এই যে আউটকাম যেটা ইলেকশন ক্যান্ডিডেটস উইন লস এটা এট দ্য সেন্টার অফ দ্য ফিউচার অফ দ্য কমিউনিটি শুরু সুতরাং দিস হ্যাজ বিন এট দ্য সেন্টার অফ মাই অ্যাংজাইটিস এন্ড কনসার্নস এন্ড বিফোর আই আনসার ইওর সাবস্ট্যান্টিভ কোশ্চেন ক্যান আই জাস্ট সে ইন ইংলিশ শিওর শিওর because uh, many people who have access to the broadcast don't speak siloti or don't speak bangladeshi sure but have a legitimate interest in what is going on of course yes and i'd like to say that those people who fought for a genuine democratic election but lost my commiserations Go for all them, of yeah. them including you thank you <laughs> and uh, my recommendations for those who have got in would be to stick to the values that actually improve the quality of people's awareness that they have got a democratic atmosphere mm. and they have got access to a say nobody gives a vote to anybody expecting to become rich in financial terms Mm. but they expect legitimately to be enriched by an improvement of an atmosphere of a tolerant society mm-hmm. and i'm i'm mindful when i'm saying this in english of the deputy prime minister nick clegg Ji. making a statement this week yeah on on the, on LBC. the lbc radio mm. saying that they can't have people like lutfur rahman in tower hamlet swaggering around mm. because this is a democracy now that kind of intervention may be dismissible because it is coming from nick clegg but as a legitimate comment i think it is very important for us to take on board what he has said and what it is based on so my introduction is that our community irrespective of whatever background has got a moral duty to give the message to the rest of the 
London population as well as beyond, mm. that we are responsible, mm. we are concerned for everyone's rights, equal, and we are not going to allow abuse mm. of the process by anybody. Now, about the general impact and implication mm -hmm. into our homelands, mm -hmm. I think that there are people collecting signatures as we sit here okay. uh, to a kind of plea that they want uh, some kind of remedy to mm -hmm. whatever the grievances is. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the actual text, but I understand reliably mm -hmm. that there is unhappiness mm -hmm. in the community. Sure, sure. Now that is actually linked to your question as well as the comments that people like Nick Clegg have made, mm -hmm. that we must give the message mm -hmm. that we are as reliable, as authentic, mm -hmm. and as dependable as democratic guardians as anybody in mm -hmm. any part of the UK. And that is something that the future generations will be wanting to inherit mm -hmm. from those of us whether seeking political office or not. Sure. You know, this is our responsibility. Our legacy must be to leave the record that people In could trust terms. us. Yes, yes. That is very important. Karan, Amrato Hogbai politics agdiner jonno ba ek term jonno korbo na. It's not only for this four four years. Our long term ambition as another twenty years, fifty years. Our chile me rao politics korbe. So coming to what you just said. Do you think there's, there's a chance of uh, political mistrust um, Bangalira, they people will quotate us or we have quoted ourselves at corner crafts in the wider community and wider politics um, that we will not be welcomed as much as we were before? Duyazar Tero Ingrazir Sauta me amra Altabali Park we have meeting we say. Ji. Ami Ibar Gesina can do Gotobar Geslam. Igano Ami Zehota Hoysiaki is a nineteen seventy eight or fourth of May, Arakta election of Sil, Zedin Altabali Marazai, a Aidin Gotonar Tindin for a Shattarik, Robibare Amra meeting Kursi, Grand Palais for a Cinema hall as it is a gap on New Road bus stop, mm -hmm. eastbound New Road bus stop. Is a gap under the Manus, the whole 1978 in the Amra Manus, Pinokuna second generation as in mostly Altabalil Lakan, first generation young people, G. but young people who have come here mm -hmm. as dependents of other people, but mm -hmm. they were almost 90 percent of them born and brought up in Bangladesh. Sure, sure. And it was a very angry gathering. Mm. And I organized it, of course, with others, my mm. students, like mm. you will know one of the boys, Chunu, who is a uh, counselor now. Uh, Chunu, yeah. So these were my students, and mm. we organized, we took the initiative. Mm -hmm. And the challenge was to stop our community, Bangladeshis, mm. going out into the street and attacking an innocent white person. Mm. So that is the legacy we established in 78. That they have killed one of us, we are not going to kill one of yeah, them. So that is a moral high ground yes. we created then. Yeah. So your question is answered even then. then so yeah. we have mm. absolutely nothing to be embarrassed about our record. Mm. What is happening in the context of Tahamlet's Council these days yes, that's what I is meant, disappointing. Yeah. Yes. And that is what John Biggs has said, that this is getting in the news for the wrong reasons. Wrong reasons, yes. And John Big said to me on the 17th of May that mm. even if he got, even if he lost, mm. he said to me on the 17th of May, he said even if he lost, he will accept the result of a democratic election. Of course, yes. And for that I am mentioning this because he showed it yeah. ahead of the outcome yes. that he was prepared to respect democracy. Now, this is why those who have got elected, whoever they are, mm. have got the responsibility on their shoulders to put a stop to mm things that go out of hand mm. and give pretext for others to undermine the community. Mm. For example, I'll name somebody yeah. called uh, Kazim Zaidi. Yeah, I was coming to now, my Kazim mind. Kazim Zaidi has apparently made a statement saying things They'll like the blushed. things will go out <laughs> yeah. in the street. And yes. That is what Nick Clegg has yes. actually responded yeah. to. Yeah. Now, if Kazim Zaidi was responsible... Who's an advisor to the mayor? 
whatever his yeah. job was if he had any sense of responsibility mm. he would have never said this yeah said or allowed anybody to interpret him in that way mm -hmm. he would have come back and he would have said no i don't believe that yeah. you know i yeah. don't mean but that but he did not protest it. he hasn't done no. that so it far. is two days yeah. he hasn't done that yes. so i'm just saying for the reference for mm -hmm. people because this will be listened to by other people sure, after sure. the broadcast yes. and yes. it's very important mm. that we are giving the message like here in may i had a program with shweb mm. and it was very soon after that tragedy on uh, the soldier rigby yes yes so i, I said yeah. in that program you can mm. check it mm. that that is nothing to do with islam absolutely nothing to do with islam or muslims and nobody is just a troubled child well whatever it is yeah. i don't know that but mm. all i know is that nobody has any right to associate islam mm. with that kind of behavior so similarly kazim zaidi has no mandate from anybody in tower hamlets mm. to give a statement or a suggestion or be party to a suggestion mm. that says that our people are going to take law into their own hands yeah. if somebody yeah. doesn't agree mm. with whatever people have the right to criticize mm. express opinion that is democracy yeah. and we have to have the discourse and we have to have the exchanges exactly yeah and that is that is what i said but this mm -hmm. this statement that he has made he he might make it at his own will as an individual but it certainly looks bad on on the administration and luthor isn't it luthor bhai upar well, it because it is part of I, that i i have i have absolutely i'm no, sure luthor bhai this i have absolutely no kind. doubt yeah. that when um, because luthor and others have been very busy with the election yeah. so i don't want to comment on their circumstances sure, but sure. i can i can be absolutely certain that when he is able to reflect on this he will distance himself now he will not only distance he will draw that and he will give an undertaking to the community that nobody associated with him mm. in a public position yeah has any authority from him sure. or support mm. to do that again mm. because th that is a very dangerous way to go mm. and we don't want to create this harmony in this community under any pretext sure but uh, hogbai let me ask you this question apne uh, election uh, rally the before the election all this campaigning happened tokhon apne dekhen je um, labor leader ad miliban came to the bora uni ekta comment korchilen je um, luthrubai is divisive he is dividing the community you know and uh, he um, he made an example with um, mosley and the others je you know you dividing this community who made Do, the example ed miliban did he say about well, mosley well in that i don't know the exact word mm -hmm. but he said in the pretense that just like other people that were he named a name but i think if i'm not wrong um viewers will um will well they can't correct me because we're not on right. on the right. but i think as much as i i know that he commented i know what you are referring that to but i in, in the K, uh, the um, mosley he he referred in the pretense of that mosley was divisive and so is lutfur rahman so but lutfur rahman was a labor uh, uh, leader well, let's, in let's in let's talk about two two so, things separately one so, is one is mosley yeah. and the comparison yes, if yes. that is what uh, yeah. admiliban said yeah. uh, because i, I mean, any kind of device is wrong i, but, I wasn't personally yeah. present yeah. when he made that statement yeah. so whatever i would have yeah. would be accessed by public yeah it's it's on the blogs anyway okay, and let me just let me yeah. just deal quickly because we have got time limitation sure 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 yeah. i will you know be aware yeah. of that and i'm just going to say that um, if ed miliban said anything that compared lutfur with mosley that would be irresponsible and misleading and inaccurate on many levels sure so i'm not going to elaborate yeah, on that okay. just leave it there i think he mainly highlighted on the device yes 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 but that is that is that is what i'm going yeah sure you don't have to invoke oswald mosley to condemn divisiveness sure you can invoke the tower hamlets labor party yeah and you can set them as an example of divisiveness right okay because the tower hamlets labor party remains divided mm -hmm. as we speak mm -hmm. it's not my opinion mm -hmm. it is a fact Tamil Labour Party is under special measure 
It has been so for more than 10 years, <laughs> de facto. And the Timeless Labour Party people who decided mm. on the election campaign, yeah. including the mayor campaign, yeah. failed to represent a united front. Yeah. So therefore, it is not necessary for Ed Miliband uh, to cite Oswal Mosley as a divider. Oswal Mosley was never based in Tar Hamlets. Mm -hmm. he, he, he tried to stage to a stunt. Cable, yeah. And that was because of the local, you know, kind of sympathetic racists of mm. that time, sure. anti-Semites. Semi, yeah. So we have in the extent, I think that I, I, I have to, you know, really say that before Mosley tried to come to Cable Street in 1996. There was other devices. Well, it was, yeah. it was, it was stopped because they were yeah, stopped sure, sure. outside okay. of Cable you know, Street. The, yeah. No, you know, all gate. Yeah. So what happened was that 10 years, a good 10 years before that, the really positive tradition of the labor movement was established for the whole of the UK by the popular councillors. Yes. We are sitting in popular. Yes. Popular councillors have got an absolutely undeniable, credible of course, record yeah. of ideal democracy. And they all started from the popular uh, town hall. Ideal democrats. So yeah. I'm saying to the people who have been elected, mm. follow the popular councillors. Yeah and follow their leader, George Lansbury. Mm -hmm. Because when they took the side of the poor people, people in low income, mm. the Tories sued them. Mm. And they went to the High Court in a march. And before going, they said we might be sent to jail. And they were. Sure. And they never complained. They never once complained. Mm. So we, as a people, as a community in Tahamlers, mm irrespective of what party we support or not. Sure. As a community, we have got a very positive, proud, I say it modestly, mm -hmm. not proud in a bragging way, but yes, yes. proud in a dignified way, yeah. record in Tower Hamlets of showing to the rest of the country a highest standard of democratic affiliation with their constituents. Sure. And I would say that those people who have been elected would follow, read up mm. on, on the popular councillors. It is worth reading every single line about them. Mm. And, and that is what I'll apply to the present councillors on Tower Hamlets. Of course, yes. That's very important. They should important. sit down. Yeah. They have a, they've got a meeting the AGM on the 11th of June. And I would say here on the record mm. that they should study from now until the 11th of June mm. and prepare themselves. And they should loudly pay a full tribute to the popular councillors. Sure. And that would be one of the ways to dispel the mythology that has been associated now mm. with Tower Hamlets. There's out of order, mm. it's anti-democratic, and the community is really beneath So content. they have to prove that, that this, is all, this is all now, wrong. They have to sure. start by showing mm. humility, showing gratitude, mm. and showing the real concern that actually come back to us because popular councillors were fighting against poverty, mm. against low income, against discrimination. Now the Channel 4 television uh, station has broadcast a series called How Could You Get, get a Council House? And yes. in there, council employees, not councillors, not mm. the mayor Lutfur Roman, mm. but council employees have been given the license to speak and state policy. Now that mm. is out of order. I would say that is undemocratic. It should have been the councillors. Should have been councillors. Because they are democratic. They are, elected. The, they are the public yeah. faces and they are mm. the accountability faces. Mm. If they have got a disagreement with the officers, mm. they can do that internally. But outside to the country, they have to speak as the elected representatives or the particular cabinet responsibility sure. you know, holder. Sure. So, in t it's not only it's not only uh, Nick Clegg. It's not only uh, Miliband who who shown their grievance or concerns. Um, also, as you know, um, as I've read on the papers that uh, Ten Downing Street has been looking into Tower Hamlets for well over two and a half years, which was a surprise to me that we did not know. But why is this? Why is this all? Um, um, why is this leaders all now looking at Tar Hamlets well, I, and see, in a uh, scrutiny manner? Amar, amar the, amar the kotha gula ami amra 
যে বিউ আর সাধারণত আমরা মানুষের দ্বারা দেখেন বাংলাদেশি হলে আমি হইলে মানে সিলোটি কিন্তু আপনারা আমারে মাফ করবা আমি কিছু কোয়া লাগে ইংরেজিতে কারণ ইস্যুটা ইংলিশ স্পিকার মানুষ যারা আছেন ইনক্লুডিং ডেভিড ক্যামেরন and his researchers yeah they will report on this program there is no doubt about that yeah so what i have to say about uh, about this question that you yeah. put me again short brief sure, sure. answer because there are materials mm. that i could mm. go on for hours about no of course what just is your that? perspective no no no, perspective. no 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 i'll give you the actual evidence okay this is not something that david cameron was bothered about mm. this is something that has been cooked in tar hamlets by people I don't know to name them but by people who really are irresponsible mm. because they think that let's say let's say for argument say yeah. that we have Luther Roman in power yeah because I personally am opposed to the executive mayor, mayor system. system yeah so I don't you know sort of spontaneously say that yeah but suppose that Luther Roman is in power mm. how do how do you oppose your opponent you yeah. don't go to outside forces this is yeah. what the opponents of lutfur amman have been doing mm. the going and spreading rumors against lutfur so the best way to deal with it in house let me just let me just give you the answer. that sure. is what has happened and there is a number of criminally irresponsible individuals aligned with fleet street that keep harping on about things that they cannot substantiate Mm. and you know that i'm not speaking for anybody i'm speaking for myself and what is happening here is that cameron is part of what pickles is in respect to what party there right, because yes. pickles had been told things about tar hamlets mm. for example he has come back about five times he has threatened to shut down the east end live mm. but he hasn't been able to do that and this is you know out of all all proportion they are actually doing things that actually do not have any substance on the ground and what we have to do is to look at the real experience of the people in tar hamlets mm. what are the people saying in tar hamlets as happening and if we don't if we don't if we don't have if we don't have any evidence from the ground in the community in tar hamlets that actually Luthor or Luthor's administration or whatever mm. has done something against the community then Cameron may make a statement but within the democratic framework he cannot change anything sure, sure. that is the problem you see sure. that enemies political enemies of Luthor have so far experienced mm. they keep going to Eric Pickles mm. or David Cameron or Ed Miller or, or, no 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 Andrew Gilligan, yeah, Andrew Gilligan. or Channel 4 you know yeah. like that dispatches yeah. but they don't get anywhere not because they haven't tried but because they have been incompetent in their assessment of their own responsibility sure. they should be listening to the local people in tower hamlets yeah. ask people like you and other people what you think yes that yeah. is what would Come have more the public to the that would citizens. have more yeah. credibility than david cameron is it cameron sure. is important as the prime minister yeah. it doesn't apply to this yeah the context of the democratic structure of the council mm. he won't interfere because he respects mm. the convention mm. just as eric pickles does amra oh, amra chota ekta break e jabo but break e jawar age i want to conclude this on this note je you mentioned that you don't uh, support the executive uh, mayor system uh, why don't you support it well very short answer is got one minute i want to break it very minute. short answer is that this is evident in the last three and a half years yeah. of tar hamlets has shown that i am absolutely right that you cannot have an accountable system with an executive mayor who has all the power mm. so the buck stops with him and that's not right but it, it yeah. hasn't stopped it but has would you gone out of control would you support the previous cabinet system with the leadership well compared to this that, that is more responsible but, okay okay थैंक यू हक भाई हमें परवर्ती सेगमेंट आज आलाप करब सुबह दर्शक मंडली आपनारा सुनलें पलिटिकल ओपिनियन श्रद्धे भाई मोहम्मद हक भाई कास उन्नी विभिन्न विभिन्न पलिटिकल समस्या सम्बन्धे उन्नी कथा तुम्हें धरे लीडारशिप सम्बन्धे तुम्हें धरे 
এবং উনি আশাবাদী যে লুথর ভাই উইল টেক আস ফরওয়ার্ড ইন ইন দ্য রাইট ডাইরেকশন বাট হি হ্যাজ অলসো হ্যাজ সাম রিজার্ভেশন অন দি এক্সিকিউটিভ স্টাইল মেয়র স্টাইলের যে সিস্টেমটা সেটা উনি সাপোর্ট করেন না উনি দ্য লেসার অ্যামাউন্ট যেটা ওইটা আপনার ক্যাবিনেট সিস্টেম যেটা সেটাতে উনি উনি মোর সাপোর্ট করেন বিকজ দ্য মো ভয়েস ইন ইট এবং এক্সিকিউটিভ মেয়রে একটা মাত্র সব পাওয়ার এক জায়গায় থাকে সেজন্য সেই কারণে উনি এটা সাপোর্ট করতেছেন না শ্রী দর্শক মল্লি আমাদের সাথে থাকেন আমরা একটা ছোট ব্রেকে যাব যা আর ফিরে এসে আবার আপনার সাথে কথা বলবো Thank you. 